The next question before us is the area of the triangle formed by the tangent and a normal at a given point say 1 root 3 on the circle x square plus y square is equal to 4. There is a question that is the area of the triangle formed by the tangent and normal to the circle at 1 comma root 3 with x axis. This is the problem. That is the problem. So, we have to understand the nature of the uh, what is the circle? Uh, of course, one, one, one more, one more minute to the circle. X square plus Y square is equal to four at one comma root three and X axis. This is the original problem. That is the problem given. What is the circle given? X square plus Y square is equal to four. At what point tangent and normal are to be drawn? At one root three. First of all, you, you, you check it, 1 root 3 is it a point on the circle? Of course, surely, 1 square plus root 3 whole square is 1 plus 3 is 4. We are happy to see and say that 1 comma root 3 is a point on the circle. What is happening here? At 1 comma root 3, both tangent and normal are drawn. What is the area of the triangle formed by the tangent, normal and x-axis? Let us view the picture. This is y axis and this is x axis. And this is, of course, the circle x square plus y square is equal to 4. At a particular point, what is the point? 1, comma root 3. A tangent has been drawn. A tangent has been drawn. Let this be the given point P1, comma root 3 and let this be the point T, let this be the origin. From the diagram, PT is the tangent and OP is the normal, isn't it? OP is just nothing but the radius, of course. What is the radius? It is 2 units. It is 2 units. We have got this base. It is a right angle triangle, you know. Why? Because tangent and normal are at right angles from the very definition itself by very nature itself. So, it is a right angle triangle in which base is known. Now, it is uh, it needed to have the height rather than PT we want to know. For PT, you should require T. For T, you should re you require you need the equation of PT. Okay. Equation of PT is Come on, x, x1 plus y, y1 is equal to r square. That is x plus y root 3 is equal to r square. Therefore, it meets x axis at y is equal to 0. Hence, this point is 4 comma 0. x, x1 plus y, y1 is equal to 4. That is the tangent, equation of the tangent. It meets x axis. At uh, y is equal to 0, you put y is equal to 0, x into 1 is 4, that is x is 4 and the point t is 4, 0. 4, 0 is known, come on friend, what is pt? Length pt, how much? 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 whole square is 9, 0 minus root 3 is root 3, root 3 whole square is 3, 9 plus 3 is 12, root 12 is 2 root 3, is 2 root 3. So, therefore, what is the required area? Required area. of triangle O P T. I think you can agree with it that O P is a normal, P T is a tangent and O T lies along x axis. The required area is nothing but O P T, triangle O P T is half into base into height to root 3. Hence, it is 2 root 3 square units. 
the area is 2 root 3 so many square units let's say a nice question we have entered in circles we have made use of parabola we have made use of ellipse and ellipse and now we have touched a, a, a problem in which a circle is involved let us uh, uh, see one more problem in which circle is involved in this session we shall uh, go through some more special problems uh, in this heading that is areas the the first problem is the area bounded between y is equal to e power x y is equal to x minus x square between the ordinates between x equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 is observe the problem carefully there are two different curves y is equal to e power x and y is equal to x minus x square of course between the boundaries x equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 we need to observe the nature of the two curves given in the problem let us have the graph first of all y it equal to e power x it meets y axis at uh, if you put x equal to 0 y is equal to 1 then the curve will be like this and if you decrease x continuously of course uh, it meets uh, it never meets x axis of suppose at infinity it may be but we don't want such things now for the present we need to have the curve till this point only what is the second curve y is equal to x minus x square uh, it meets x axis at y x minus x square is equal to 0 x equal to 0 and 1 therefore it will be like this that is the parabola and this is the point 1 okay so what is the area needed here this is the area required that is the area required this curve is of course y is equal to e power x and this curve of course y is equal to x minus x square good required area is therefore equal to required area is equal to integral 0 to 1 what is the curve which lies at the upper phase it is a power x minus lower one x minus x square dx between 0 and 1 well this is therefore e power x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 between the limits 0 and 1 substitute the limits this is e minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus e power 0 minus 0 plus 0 all together minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 is uh, just nothing but minus 1 by 6 minus 1 by 6 and minus 1 minus 1 by 6 and minus 1 minus of 1 plus 1 by 6 that is equal to e minus 7 by 6 is the required area e minus 7 by 6 1 plus 1 by 6 is 7 by 6 minus of 1 plus 1 by 6 is minus 7 by 6 so the answer is e minus 7 by 6 I see it we, we could find it very easy to have the answer why because uh, we are able to know the nature of the graph the second graph that is y is equal to x minus x square also meets x axis between 0 and 1 only uh, at, at 0 and 1 only and we are required to have the area between 0 and 1 only therefore the limits of integration will also be 0 and 1 for that the area bounded by y square is equal to 4 into 1 minus x and y axis is this is the question we are asked to find the very area bounded by the curve and y axis that is we are supposed to have or we are supposed to calculate the area along y axis so we need to have a formula of x in terms of y let us do that first y square is equal to 4 into 1 minus x 
that is y square is equal to 4 minus 4x or 4x is equal to 4 minus y square or x is equal to 1 minus y square by 4 by 4. Moreover, it, it, it is uh, necessary for us to know the points where that curve meets y axis, isn't it? Also, y square is equal to 4 into 1 minus x meets y axis at y square is equal to 4, isn't it? 1 minus 0. On y axis, x is 0, x coordinate is 0, though y square is equal to 4, or y is equal to plus or minus 2. Therefore, the required diagram is zero comma minus two zero comma plus two this is the area required that is the area required therefore required area is equal to integral minus two to two x dy that is integral minus two to two What is x? 1 minus y square by 4 dy. You see, again it is a, an even function or by following the symmetry, this can again be taken as 2 into integral 0 to 2, 1 minus y square by 4 dy. By getting the integral very simply and substituting the limits, we will have the answer like this as uh, 2 into y minus y cube by 12 between the limits 0 and 2 isn't it for 1 it is y for y square it is y cube by 3 already by 4 is there and it is y cube by 12 y cube by 12 so this is equal to 2 into you first of all put 2 for y 2 minus 2 cube by 12 2 minus 8 by 12 minus 0 what is 8 by 12 it is 2 by 3, 2 fours, 3 fours, 2 by 3. 2 minus 2 by 3 is 4 by 3. 4 into 2, 8 by 3. So, the ultimate answer is of course 8 by 3 in square units. In square units. Let us look at the next question, which looks so lengthier in its data. Of course, it is very simple if you make an attack. Try to follow the sense given by the sentence in the question carefully the area of the triangle okay a triangle is going to be formed in the problem formed by formed by intersection of a line parallel to x axis passing through hk what is the general form of a line parallel to x axis y is equal to something but it passes through hk so the very first line is y is equal to k with the lines y is equal to x and x plus y is equal to 2 this area is 4 h square that area is 4 h square then the locus of p is first of all you have to find the area of the triangle formed by those three lines and equate it to 4 h square how to get the area let us first of all find the vertices of the triangle. Good. These two meet at K, K. K, K. These two meet at in the place of y, x plus x, 2x is equal to 2 at 1, comma 1. These two meet at K, K. These two meet at 1, 1. And these two meet at if you place y as k, then x is equal to 2 minus k at 2 minus k and k. You could have followed, it seems. Those are the vertices of the triangle, isn't it? Clearly, k, k, 1, 1, 2 minus k, k are the vertices.
area of the triangle formed by these three points is 4h square according to the data. Therefore, what is the area? Half into, come on, k minus 1, k minus 1, k minus of 2 minus k, k minus 2 plus k. It is 2k minus 2, k minus k, 0. Isn't it? k minus 1, k minus 1. k minus of 2 minus k is k minus 2 plus k, that is 2k minus 2 and k minus k is 0. What is the area? Half into 0 minus half 2 into k minus 1 whole square is just nothing but k minus 1 whole square. Actually, delta is observed to be k minus 1 whole square. You see, this area, but this area is equal to 4h square. So, k minus 1 whole square is equal to 4h square, isn't it? Therefore, k minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 2h, okay? k minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 2h. Therefore, locus of h comma k is y minus 1 is equal to plus or minus 2x. That is all. Yes, very, very, very simple problem which needs no graph at all, which needs no representation at all. Very simple estimation and the clue here is you are supposed to have the vertices of the triangle so that uh, you can estimate the area of the triangle immediately on the spot like this. It is k minus 1 whole square and uh, you are supposed to equate this area that is k minus 1 whole square to the given number 4h square. You equate it k minus 1 is equal to plus r minus 2h hence the locus of h comma k is y minus 1 is equal to plus r minus 2x of course it is a pair of straight lines. One is y minus 1 is equal to 3x and the other is y minus 1 is equal to minus 2x. That is all. That is the required locus. The next problem is ready on the board. Let us have a look over that. He has given two curves here. One is the equation of curve is like that. Mod of sorry maximum of mod x and mod y is equal to 1 that is one locus and the other is uh, a circle of course pi of x square plus y square is equal to 3. Is right? Maximum of mod x and mod y is equal to 1. Mod x and mod y is equal to 1 means this locus is just nothing but a square whose vertices are plus r minus 1 plus r minus 1 plus r minus 1. That is 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1. Wherever you go, maximum of mod x and mod y is 1. So, this is the locus. Okay, this is the curve and the other is pi of x square plus y square is equal to 3. That is x square plus y square is equal to 3 by pi x square plus y square is equal to 3 by pi that is of course the circle x square plus y square is equal to 3 by pi 3 by pi what is pi actually what is pi 3.14 and something so 3 by pi is less than 1 so the radius of the circle is less than 1 hence that circle lies inside of this this is the circle that is the first one, that is the second one. What is the area required here? Bounded between these two. So, the shaded portion is of course, is the required area, isn't it? Here also, we must be able to know the nature of the graph. Yes, of course. This area we must find, we require, we need to have the area. It is very simple. You see, this is a square with the length of each side as one unit or two units? Two units. This length is one, this length is one. So, it is two, 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 two. Area of the square is two into two, that is four minus area of the circle, isn't it? Required area is equal to area of the circle, sorry area of the square 
minus area of the circle. What is area of the square? 2 square that is 4. What is area of the circle? Pi r square that is pi into r square is 3 by pi. Pi and pi will go away leaving you 2 square is 4, 4 minus 3 is 1. So, what is the required area? 1 square unit. 1 square unit. That is the beauty of the problem. You must be able to notice that this is nothing but a square with what is this plus r minus 1 plus r minus 1. And of course, the length of each side of that square is 2 units with this area 2 square minus area of the circle. Pi into x square plus y square is equal to 3 means x square plus y square is equal to 3 by pi. There itself we will conclude that that circle is inside the square. Because radius is absolutely less than length of this side, half of this side. So that or rather diameter is length less than the length of each side, whatever you see. So the required area is one square unit. Another beautiful question is there we are going to look at. In that question he says that there are two circles of unit radii. Radius of the first circle is 1, radius of the second circle is also 1 and they cut each other orthogonally. They cut each other orthogonally. Automatically, the, some intersected portion will be there. We are supposed to catch, we are supposed to know the area of that region of intersection of those two circles. That is the question. What is the question? Two circles of unit radii two circles of unit radii cut each other orthogonally orthogonally then area of their intersection is This much he is asking us. Okay, then let us first of all we'll draw the diagram, our graph as you like, as you like. Hey, he has not given the equations, he, he has not given the equations, but of course, uh, they are of radius one unit each and they cut each other orthogonally. That is the point given in the inform in the uh, hypothesis. We shall make use of that uh, to have the needy diagram come on please observe the diagram let c be the center of the first circle and d be the center of the second circle each of radius one unit they cut each other orthogonally they cut each other orthogonally hence this angle is 90 this angle is 90 this angle is 90 this angle is also 90 yes and the area of intersection is required that is the area required well let us uh, first of all have a good plan of obtaining it later on you can implement it okay you keep that figure there itself let us have a rough figure like this This area we want, this is C, this is D, this is A, this is B. Let me call this X, this Y, this Z. What is the heroine of the problem? X, we want X. Okay, I like to find that X like this. You please follow me. Area of required area is equal to area of the sector A C B plus area of the sector A D B minus 
area of the square A C B D. Is this plan correct or not? Let us see. First step, area of the sector A C B. What is the area of the sector A C B? X plus Y. Next, area of the sector A D B. What is A D B? X plus Z. Minus area of the square A B C D. What the? Uh, totally, the total area is X plus Y plus Z, isn't it? X plus Y plus Z. What is going to happen? One X, one Y, one Z, leaving you X, which is required, isn't it? This is the plan of obtaining the area of uh, intersection. or rather the common area common area of the two intersecting circles is supposed to be obtained like that and this is the plan which is the proper plan to have the area isn't it okay first of all what is the area of this sector this sector a b a actually for finding the area of a sector there are so many formula one of them is r square theta Half R square L R by two is there. Half L R, but L is length of the R. That is nothing but R theta. So it is half R square theta. So for the sector A C B, half into R square is one square into theta. Angle between the two radii of the sector is nothing but pi by two. Plus area of the sector A D B absolutely the similar that is half into one square into pi by two minus area of the square A B C D what is that one 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 the square with each of the side is one hence its area is one one square so this is what is that pi by four plus pi by four what is pi by four plus pi by four pi by two pi by two minus one is of course the required area. that is the beauty of the problem observe it carefully look at the next question it is uh, readily available for us for what values of m is the area bounded by the two curves y is equal to x minus x square and y is equal to mx uh, is equal to 9 by 2 there are two curves of course surely there is some area bounded between those two curves you are supposed to equate that area to 9 by 2 and find the value or values of m okay to have the answer perfectly let us imagine the graphs y is equal to x minus x square it is a, a parabola opened downwards whose axis is parallel to y axis and it meets x axis at x minus x square is equal to zero. X into one minus x is zero, so x is zero or one. Hence, we can imagine the nature of the graph of the parabola. Y is equal to x minus x square. It looks like this. This is zero, and this is one. Okay, y is equal to m x. That is a straight line, of course, passing through horizon. This is y is equal to m x, and we want to have the area between them. So for that, for that, we must be able to know this point. Then only you can have the limits of integration. Therefore, the very first duty is. you have to know the point where these two curves meet one thing is sure at horizon both of them meet no doubt other point what is the other point which looks like say 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 the point a in the graph we are now ready to have a how just solve them y is equal to x minus x square and y is equal to mx meet at Meet at x minus x square is equal to y max. 
If x is 0, the y is also 0. 0, 0 is one point of intersection. It is clearly visible, of course. And we are interested to know the other point of intersection. And to find that, let us take it for granted that x is not equal to 0. So, that you can cancel x here 1 minus x is equal to m or x is equal to 1 minus m. x is equal to 1 minus m. Therefore, what is this point 1 minus m comma 0, isn't it? Okay, the things are very clear, crystal clear before us. Yes, what is the required area? Area under this curve minus area under this curve. This is f of x, this is g of x, isn't it? Therefore, required area is equal to integral 0 to 1 minus m. Come on friend, which curve lies at the upper place? Parabola or the straight line? Parabola. What is the parabola? x minus x square minus straight line mx dx. What is it? For x it is x square by 2. For x square it is x cube by 3. For mx it is mx square by 2 between the limit 0 and 1 minus m. This is the area which we could find actually. And according to data, he has given that this area is equal to 9 by 2. So, this is supposed to be equated to 9 by 2. Of course, we are supposed to have the values of m. Well, friend, we like to remove the diagram because I can utilize that space for calculation. You please observe the diagram. If you say, okay, I shall remove it. Well done. This is x square by 2 minus mx square by 2, isn't it? So, x square by 2 into 1 minus m minus x cube by 3 between the limit 0 and 1 minus m is equal to 9 by 2. First of all, substitute 1 minus m. What happens? 1 minus m whole square into 1 minus m. 1 minus m whole cube by 2 minus 1 minus m whole cube by 3. And if you put x equal to 0, everything will be 0. So, this is equal to 9 by 2. 9 by 2. Well, if you take 1 minus m whole cube out, it will be 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 is nothing but 1 by 6. Therefore, 1 minus m whole cube is equal to 9 by 2 into 6. Why? 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 Why is it so? It is 1 minus m whole cube into 1 by 6. Is this, six is, this 6 is sent to that side. So, that it is 27. This is 27. 54 by 2 is 27. Therefore, 1 minus m is equal to 3. 27 power 3. Therefore, m is equal to minus 2. m is equal to minus 2. m is equal to minus 2. 1 minus m whole cube is equal to 27. Therefore, m is equal to minus 2. Is the suitable answer? Is the suitable answer? Find the area between, the boundary between y square is equal to x and y is equal to mod x. He is saying, Okay, what do you mean by y square is equal to x? It is of course a parabola. y square is equal to x. y is equal to mod x. What do you mean by that? y is equal to x or y is equal to minus x. So, the graph of y is equal to mod x is, the graph of y is equal to mod x is this, v shaped diagram. Luckily, we are not at all interested to deal with this because it has no intersection at all with y square is equal to x except this point. Therefore, the required area is this and to evaluate this area, we must be knowing this point. So, we need to have this point. What is this point? y square is equal to x and y is equal to x meet at x square is equal to x. That is 
x into x minus 1 is equal to 0. That is x equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1 automatically y is also 1 then this point is 1 comma 1 this is 0 comma 0. Even though he has given y is equal to mod x in the data the line y is equal to minus x of course is not suitable and not useful at all here and this part this region area of this region is only required here. So the required area is equal to integral 0 to 1. What is the curve which lies at the upper place? Is it the parabola or the straight line? It is the parabola. What is the parabola? y square is equal to x or y is equal to root x minus y is equal to x dx. Okay then, what is the integral of root x? 2 by 3 into x power 3 by 2 minus x square by 2 between the limits 0 to 1. If you substitute 1 here, 1 power 3 by 2 is 1, so it is 3 by 3 minus 1 by 2 is of course the answer. It is 4 by 6, this is uh, 3 by 6, so it is uh, 1 by 6. What is the LCM? 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 by 6. So the required answer is 1 by 6. So even then uh, some modulus involvement is also there in the data. You just have the intersection, whose intersection is needed, which region is needed. What are all the points of intersection in that region? What are the limits to be taken? These are the things that must be kept in mind to have the answer. Here the answer for this question is 1 by 6. The next question before us is find the area. Find the area bounded between x square is equal to 4y plus 4 and the line 3x plus 4y is equal to 0 the line 3x plus 4y is equal to 0. We know something, we know everything about x square is equal to 4y plus 4. Of course, it is a parabola. It is a parabola whose axis is uh, uh, on y axis and this is x square is equal to 4 into y plus 1. 4 into y plus 1. So that it has the vertex at my 0 minus 1 and it meets x axis at minus 2 or plus 2. Hence, this is the parabola. This is 2, 0. This is minus 2, 0. This is 0, minus 1. This is about x square is equal to 4 by plus 4. And 3x plus 4y is equal to 0 and x square is equal to 4 by plus 4. When and where do they meet? That is the special case of investigation now that only offers you the correct way to guess the answer. Look here. x square is equal to 4y plus 4 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 0 meet at in the place of 4y you can write minus 3x or x square plus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 implies x plus 4 into x minus 1 is equal to 0 implies x is equal to minus 4 or x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 1. Hence, like this it meets. So, here x is equal to minus 4. Here x is equal to 1. x is equal to 1. So, the required area is between minus 4 and 1. What is the curve which lies above of these two? Line or parabola? Line and then the parabola. Therefore, required area is we could have got the correct plan of integration and the correct limits of integration also they are between minus 4 and 1 yes of course and the thing to be integrated is integral minus 4 to 1 equation of the line y from the equation of the line and y from parabola yes 
therefore required area is equal to integral minus 4 to 1 what is y from this minus 3 x by 4 is not it minus 3 x by 4 minus what is y from this x square minus 4 by 4 x square minus 4 by 4 dx. Therefore, it is integral minus 4 to 1 minus 3 x by 4 minus x square by 4 plus 1 dx. Am I right? Okay, then this is therefore minus 3 by 4 and x square by 2 minus 3 by 8 into x square between the limits minus 4 and 1. This is x cube by 3 all to the x cube by 12 minus 1 by 12 into x cube between the limits minus 4 and 1. This is uh, x is not it x between the limits minus 4 and 1 minus 3 by 4 into x square by 2 that is minus 3 by 8 x square minus 1 by 4 into x cube by 3 minus 1 by 12 into x cube this is x between the limits minus 4 and 1 uh, so totally it is minus 3 by 8 into 1 square minus minus 4 whole square minus 1 by 12 into 1 cube minus minus 4 whole cube plus 1 minus minus 4 altogether this is 1 minus 16 is minus 15 minus minus of minus is plus 15 3 so 45 45 by 8 1 minus of minus 64 is 1 plus 64 that is 65 65 by 12 and the last one is 5 which is the LCM 24 is the LCM 3 times 345 sir 135 minus 130 plus 24 5 so 120 this is 5 5 plus 120 125 125 by 24 so many units that is the area there is the required area here also the planning about the graph is essential. This plays the vital role. Follow this. The next problem is we are supposed to find the area bounded between uh, these two parabolas x plus 2y square is equal to 0 and uh, x plus 2y 3y square is equal to 1. And the equations, uh, the equation of each curve itself offers us an idea to have the area along the y axis. Why? Because it is uh, quite easy to get x in terms of y, x is equal to minus 2y square and x is equal to minus 3y square, isn't it? And this is of course a parabola, parabola which is open towards left. There is also a parabola open towards left, but this vertex of this parabola is horizon, whereas it is not that. Therefore, they might be in this shape in that particular shape they might be. Therefore, the area between them is required. So, both are parabolas open towards left, open towards left. These two meet at from this x is minus 2y square, from that x is 1 minus 3y square send minus 3 y square to this side y square is equal to 1 therefore y is equal to plus or minus 1 y is equal to plus or minus 1 and if course if y is 1 x is minus 2 isn't it one point if y is s x is minus 2 minus 2 plus or minus 1 okay and as we are interested to find the area along y axis required area is integral minus 1 to 1 which curve lies ahead of another 
this curve. Therefore, from this x is 1 minus 3 y square minus from this x is minus 2 y square dy dy. Therefore, this is minus 1 to 1, 1 minus 3 y square plus 2 y square is 1 minus y square dy is equal to 2 into integral 0 to 1 because it is an even function 1 minus y square dy, 1 minus y square dy. Hence, this is y minus y cube by 3 between the limit 0 and 1. So, this is 2 into 1 minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3 that is 4 by 3 is the answer. The required answer is 4 by 3. The next question before us is find the area bounded by the curve root x plus root y is equal to 1 and the coordinate axis and the axis. Where does this meet x axis? At x is equal to 1. Where does this meet y axis? Y axis means y is equal to 1. Therefore, the curve will be like this. This is 1, this is 0. A very, very simple diagram. What is the required area? It is very simple. This is the required area. That is the required area. Of course, the required area is straight away. integral 0 to 1, come on, x dy or y dx, y dx, what is y? Root y is equal to 1 minus root x, isn't it? So, 1 minus root x whole square dx. Hence, it is integral 0 to 1, 1 plus x minus 2 root x between the limits 0 and 1. All together, this is x plus x square by 2 minus 2 into what is the integral of root x? 2 by 3 into x root x between the limits 0 and 1. Okay, then what is, what is the answer? 1 plus 1 by 2 minus 4 by 3, isn't it? Isn't it? 2 to the 4 by 3. 2 into 2 by 3 is 4 by 3. We are substituting 1 in the place of x. That is, we are using the upper limit in the beginning. Minus, if you put x equal to 0, ultimately it will be 0. Hence, this is 3 by 2 minus 4 by 3. LCM is 6. 9 minus 8 is 1 by 6. So, here also, again, the answer has become 1 by 6. Go through that. A lengthier sentence, a lengthier question, but a very, very simple answer. As in this problem, already solved problems which were famous results are to be used. Let us now recall two important results which we could already discuss with. One is y square is equal to 4ax and its lattice rectum. What is the area? 8 a square by 3. Another, y square is equal to 4 a x and the double ordinate x is equal to k. What is the answer? This is, what is the area? 8 by 3 into root a into k root k, isn't it? It's very simple. If you replace k by a, a root a into root a is a square by 3, the same old answer is that. These two are very, very famous and useful results. We shall now make use of those two results, of course.
to have the answer for this question. You try to follow the sentences carefully, find the essence of those sentences. The area bounded by y square is equal to 4x and the double ordinate x equal to 6 is, is twice the area bounded by y square is equal to 4x on its lattice rectum. So, he means this area is twice this area. In such a case, find the lattice rectum. Okay, what is the double ordinate given? x equal to 6. So, in the second formula, in the place of k, what are we having here? 6. Therefore, without drawing any graph, without finding any point of intersection, without finding any limits of integration, no question of using integration. We shall use directly these two answers. That answer is 8 by 3 into root a into k root k means 6 root 6. Am I right? Is twice the area 2 into 8a square by 3. 8a square by 3. 8 by 3. 8 by 3. And uh, root a six root six two a into a root a two root a into a root a root a root a two three square it on both sides. 9 into 6 is 54. A square into A is A cube. Therefore, A is equal to 54 power 1 by 3. That is 27 into 2 power 1 by 3. That is 3 into cube root of 2. Well, my dear, this is A. But what is required here? What is required here? We are not supposed to have the value of A, but we are supposed to have the length of the lattice rectum. What is the length of the lattice rectum? It is 4A. What is that? 4A. Therefore, length of the lattice rectum of the parabola, that is LLR, let, let, me, let me abbreviate it as LLR, length of the lattice rectum is 4A. Hence, it is 12 into cube root of 2 is the answer. How beautiful they are. Imagine. Unless you know them, it becomes a tedious job to find that area and this area separately and equate them. So, maximum time has been saved for us because we could already know these two. We could already know these two. We could have calculated. We could have kept them in mind in our memory box they are useful results reusability of the results is there that is why the length of the lattice rectum is of course 12 into cube root of 2 so many units this is the beautiful question before us the next question is the area bounded between the two parabolas y is equal to ax square and x is equal to ay square is 1. Find the value of a, he is saying. Find the value of a, he is saying. Think of the problem. There are two parabolas, y is equal to ax square and x is equal to ay square. Its area is the area bounded between them is 1. Well, let me take this as x square is equal to 4by, where 4b is equal to 1 by a. Am I correct? And this is y square is equal to 4ax, where 4a is also 1 by a. We know that area bounded between these two is 16ab by 3. 
16 AB by 3. 16 AB by 3. And from data, from the da from the information, given information, the area bounded is 1. So, 16 AB by 3 is equal to 1. Therefore, 4A into 4B is equal to 3. Am I right? 4A into 4B is nothing but 16 AB is 3. But you see, what is 4A? 1 by A. 1 by A into 1 by A is equal to 3. So, a square is equal to 1 by 3. A square is equal to 1 by 3. Hence, A is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 3. What is the value of A? Plus or minus 1 by root 3. Here also, in solving this question also, we could have made use of this formula 16AB by 3. We know that the area bounded between the parabolas uh, y square is equal to 4x and x square is equal to 4by is uh, 16ab by 3. I think you could you could recollect it. You could remember it. Yes. 16ab by 3 is the area according to the formula and the area is 1 according to the data in the given, given, in the, uh, given item is 1. So, 4ab into 4ab is 3. But 4a is nothing but 1 by a. 4b is also 1 by a. Hence, 1 by a into 1 by a is 3. That is, a square is 1 by 3 or a is equal to plus or minus 1 by root 3 is the right answer. So, it is quite beneficial, of course, to know the standard results as formulas. Please mind this. A beautiful question. Really, a beautiful question is before you. Follow it carefully. The area bounded by the curve y is equal to f of x, x axis, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to b is b minus 1 into sine of 3b plus 4. Then what is f of x? Then what is f of x? Okay, let us make use of the data carefully. Integral 1 to b f of x dx is equal to b minus 1 into sine of 3b plus 4. Am I correct? Come on friend, tell me an idea. You think of differentiating with respect to differentiating with respect to b, treating b as the variable you differentiate with on both the sides. Here, by making use of the Leibniz rule of differentiating a definite integral, this is nothing but f of b, isn't it? f of b is equal to, come on, u v, u derivative into v plus v derivative cos of 3b plus 4 into 3 into u b minus 1. This is therefore equal to 3 into b minus 1 into cos of 3b plus 4 plus sin of 3b plus 4. Well, my dear, this is f of b. What is required actually? We require f of x. You just replace b by x. What are you having? 3 into x minus 1 into cos of 3x plus 4 plus sine of 3x plus 4. Fantastic. Unbelievable, isn't it? How easily we are able to get the answer for f of x. No question of drawing any any, any graph or finding the limits or any other thing. Of course, here you could have made use of Leibniz's rule of differentiating a, a, a definite integral. You please don't forget that. Regarding that only, we are able to have f of x. This is the question, beautiful question.